New at 9 o'clock, a suspect from a Hyde Park burglary now in the hospital after jumping from a third story window. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jackie Bay. And I'm Timon Bradley. WGN's Brona Tomalty joins us with details. Brona, good evening. Good evening, guys. Yes, some might say there is an element of karma to this story, but residents in the area say break-ins and burglaries are becoming all too common. In the Hyde Park area, a lot of students live in these uh, local apartment complexes. Mia Ku is one of many college students living in the Hyde Park neighborhood. And today, someone smashed open the front door of a nearby building, which Ku says is unfortunately becoming more common. I'm kind of not surprised to see something like this happening, just because kind of all year round we have people breaking in to steal packages and the foyers and... Uh, yeah, so we have a lot of burglary <laughs> burglary issues here. Yeah. However, this break and entering job had a bit of a twist. Police say they were called to the 1200 block of East 54th Street sometime after noon on suspicion of someone stealing mail from a building's post boxes. When they showed up, they say they spotted an intruder who then fled upstairs forcing his way into a third floor apartment. We're told the suspect then tried to escape by jumping out of a window. That move landed him or her in the hospital at the University of Chicago Medical Center. This all happened within Police District 2, which according to CPD data is an area where crime is down overall by 38%. But if you look specifically at things like burglary, well, that's up 54% on last year's numbers, leaving folks like Ku wondering which building in maybe next. Usually PD definitely does their best to patrol, but it's yeah. usually like at three o'clock in the morning, people wake up, their packages are gone, windows are broken, things like that. Super common. Now, if you're looking at the city as a whole, burglaries are down by 18% and crime in general is down by a quarter on last year's numbers. Well, live at 35th in Michigan, Bernard Tumulty, WGN News.